Hello, my name is David Green. I'm a distributor with MultiPure, and we work in the field of water filtration, and we have some of the best drinking water systems there are. I have one in my kitchen. I've had it for 26 years, and every year I change the filter. If you have a MultiPure or are considering it, keep this in mind. Each filter is certified for 750 gallons, and we estimate that for a family of four using our filter for drinking and cooking purposes, that you should change the filter once a year. If you have a larger family, perhaps change it a little bit more often. If you're a single person or there's just two of you, you might extend it a little more than 12 months. But in either case, it's easy to get the filter. You just call me at 781-863-5233 or go to the replacement filter tab on my website www.betterwaterchoice.com What I want to show you today is how you would change that filter. And I'm going to give you a demonstration. It'll just take a few minutes. Most people are able to change a filter themselves. Really, all you have to be able to do is get down on your hands and knees in front of the sink and possibly read the instructions. And if you get in trouble, you can call me or call the company. When the filter arrives, the filter cartridge, you um, take the wrapper off and do that carefully because wrapped around it, the filter, are the instructions. So these are generic instructions and you can always refer to these. Every sink is a little different, but this is the general generic instruction for you. I'm going to set that aside now. This is the solid carbon block filter which goes in the stainless steel housing, either under your sink or on top of the sink. The filter has four parts. The top, the bottom, stainless steel. They fit together. You've got a belt and a buckle. Here's the buckle. So what I do is put the two halves together and it's spring-loaded so you can just push that T-bar and it pops right into the clamp here. Got that? Then you tighten it up and of course you do all that once you put a new filter inside. I'm going to show you that process now under my kitchen sink so I'll be heading over there and you can watch me do it. You'll be able to do it in no time. Before I get down to shut the water off I'm going to turn it on right at the faucet like this. Now when I go under the sink to shut it off, I'll know that I've done it successfully. Your shutoff might be a blue plastic shutoff like this, and you just turn it one quarter turn to shut the water off. Okay, it'll be in the on position. You turn it to the off position. I'm going to do that underneath. Okay and the water's running out now, there's no more pressure, that means I can open up the filter. What I do now is go over to the unit which is mounted on a bracket, or it might be standing free on the, on the floor, and with two hands, tilt it up, and the bottom comes out, see how I tilted it forward, and I bring it out here where I can work on it. I have a little basin of some kind, or a big pan, whatever. Plastic basin is good because now I can open it up just the way I showed you up on top of the counter and take out the old filter. You just loosen it like that and notice how it's put together because you're going to put it back together like this. This one uh, that I'm using for the demonstration is about six months old. Normally I would change it once a year. You bring the T-bar out Drop the belt. If the top and bottom don't come apart, just take a screwdriver, put it in here, give it a quarter twist, and the two hemispheres will come apart. There is some water that, that's in here. You dump it out. You can see the used filter. I'm going to unscrew it like a light bulb. You can see it's brown. It's accumulated some debris. But don't worry, you're not drinking that. What you see is what you're not drinking. Put that in the sink. Take the new filter. 
It threads on pretty easily here. Again, like a light bulb, screwing in. Snug. Put the two halves together. And then we have to secure it with a belt and buckle. So I put those around the middle. Put the little T clamp bar right back in the clamp where you took it out. And then tighten it snugly. Let me say that three times. Snug, snug, snug. I tighten it usually until it gives me a lot of resistance. Sometimes I can actually hear it squeaking. You see me working at it now. And you can tell when it becomes too stiff to turn anymore. Okay, I can feel the resistance. Then I take this unit, put it back under the sink, and I tilt it with the top going back into the bracket, and then setting, setting down on the bracket. My last step is going to be to turn on the unit. Now remember, this is a brand new filter. It's full of air. It's also full of some charcoal dust. So I'm turning it on. I can hear the water starting to fill it up. I'm going to go up top now. And if you look at the water, you'll see that the first 10 or 15 seconds, it'll be kind of black. That's the air pushing through. Do you see how it's dark? And now it's clearing up. It looks a little cloudy and jumpy because there's a lot of air still coming through and you have to let it run for about 10 or 15 minutes until the water runs clear. You can put a glass under it when that glass looks clear and you're ready to go. Right now I'm going to turn it off so that you can follow me as I do my last step which is to take out a flashlight. I happen to have one on the end of my keychain. Any flashlight would do and I look underneath the sink and make sure that there's no drops of water. Everything is tight. Nothing is leaking. If you need help or have questions, you can call me. My phone number is 781-863-5233. Thanks.